Hey, it's Eric, uh, the Filipino uh, car de mobile car detailer here. Um, I'm heading off to Northbrook, uh, Illinois, to detail uh, three cars. Uh, basically, they you know they've been a customer of mine for several years now, and you know I've seen their kids grow up, and it's kind of it's kind of interesting, you know, partly because I've I've known them for for a while and and watched their kids grow up. Uh, one of the kids went to uh, Boston College, played basketball, uh, did very well, and, and all three kids are now graduates of their schools. Um, basically, they're professionals now. And to see them grow up and develop into professionals and doing good in their job, it's incredible to see. That's what's so fun about meeting people and getting to know them. A lot of my clientele, they don't, they don't treat me as a... Um, basically as a, uh, a business person they treat me like a fan part of their family since I've known them for so long and seen the kids grow up clean their cars and they treat me you know very special so it's it's not really a, a, a business kind of environment it's more like a kind of a friendly thing and that's what I liked about this business basically is is that you know you you grow up you grow grow into this business meeting a lot of people and getting to know them and Basically, that's what makes it fun. It what keeps me going, and uh, I enjoy it a lot. So, uh, and I charge a reasonable amount, of, you know, eighty dollars, eighty dollars for a car, uh, full detail, and ninety-five for a SUV, a minivan, and a lot of majority of them, they, they basically give me tips because it's, you know, it's it, they know it's the car is pretty de dirty, and you know, and and they know I'm trying to support a family, so that's what. You know that's why I do this to try to help out my family. My son is uh, Zach is in uh, college right now. He's uh, trying to make his way through college, and then I have a younger son named Kyle, who's in eighth grade. And you know, I just got to keep this going. Uh, I got to keep this going until he graduates college, basically. And which is <laughs> so. I'll, by the time I get done with this detailing business, I'll be in my sixties. But it actually hasn't been that bad. You know, everybody tells you. Oh, Filipinos, you know, or any foreign person, you know, can make it here. Yeah, and this is a way to make it, especially Filipinos. And and Filipinos are myself. I was born in Manila, and you know, we we're very hospitable. Where we we part of the reason why my success is because uh, we're good, hardworking people, and that's what you know a lot of people see here in, in the United States is that we open the doors for you know anybody for Americans and and you know, non-Filipinos, and, and that's what makes us, you know, a lot of Americans who like us and, you know, want us to uh, keep going the way we are, and we embrace this culture, but yet we didn't also give up our culture in, uh, of the Philippines, so that's, that's, that's why, you know, anybody can make it here, and uh, people ask me a question, are you worried about, you know, people, you know, trying to, other uh, groups of people trying to take over your detailing business as competition. I'm not really worried about that. Basically, you know, like in, in, in Deerfield or Bannockburn, like for instance, Bannockburn, right, I'm, I'm passing up right now, has 1,600 uh, residents. Northbrook has about over 10,000. Glencoe uh, has over 10,000 and stuff like that. And now if you think about it, I do, I detail... Uh, there are cars twice a year. There's some people I detail like um, uh, three times a year, and there are those I do once a month. And I can't keep up with everybody. It's, it, it's impossible to keep up with everybody detailing their cars. And then you got to take care of. I, probably in Northbrook, I probably have maybe uh, 25 to 30 tried and true clients. Glenview, I probably have about 25 uh, tried and true clients. And I keep them up, keep up with them once or twice a year. And honestly, for just doing this on the weekends, I can't keep up. I, I really can't keep up with these people. There's no way. And then I'm always been introduced with new people. Uh, I have clients in Lake Forest, um, uh, Glencoe, Winnetka, Deerfield. There's no way. It's impossible to keep up. And if you look at this place, there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of. Uh, 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 you know, people in, in you know a lot of landscapers actually, a lot of landscapers that are here. You never see them complain about oh, there's too much competition. I can't make it. Are you kidding? 
uh, they're a dime a dozen here. There are a lot of a lot of landscapers here, and I've never once ever heard them complain that they're not getting enough business. As far as mobile detailers, I'm probably the only one that I know. I haven't seen so many other mobile detailers cleaning other people's cars. And you know how many houses are here? Take a look at the, you know Google or Google how many houses exist in in um, in in Deerfield or Glencoe Glenview alone. There are a lot of houses here. There's no way you can detail everybody's cars. It's impossible. And and there are people who, who I have a couple clients who have their own business who I pick up their cars and go wash and detail their cars and then bring it back for them. There there goes another people who another set of clients that live in another location and and you know want their cars detailed. So there are a lot of opportunities. So I just wanted to let you know that that's that's the case about detailing here in in, in Chicago and there's other places in big cities that are have detailers. They're they're a dime a dozen, but no one complains about how much how much business they're not getting. So, and if you look at how many cars that exist, there's no way it's impossible. You can you can worry to worry about competition with a lot of households. Households have an average two or three cars here in the North Shore of Chicago. There's no way you can worry about the competition. So I just wanted to you know get you to focus to, to hey you know I wrote a book. Uh, detailing book that um, basically irons out how do you how do you advertise and how do you start this business and I haven't really started publishing it yet um, I'm waiting for the time to start publishing it uh, it's 127 pages and basically it tells you how to how to do this detailing business um, and you can pretty much start it anywhere and if you're willing to travel you know I live an hour and a half away and if you're willing to travel stay the whole day that's perfect so all right, I'm getting close to my appointment, so I'm signing off right now, and I'll be headed, I'll be talking to you later. You guys enjoy your day and uh, have a fruitful uh, enterprise. Signing off. Okay, and then I basically, you know, I've had also um, uh, cars. I've had also clients that had, you know, nine cars, and I would rotate. I, would, I mean, I was there every weekend basically to detail one or two cars and then wash the others and then the next weekend detail the other cars and wash the others so it was rotating almost every weekend and I pretty much occupied my whole day just to that one client and then I had another client that had 12 cars and had a bunch of Ferraris have a bunch of and you'll probably see in some of the videos I've posted and pictures I've posted about the cars back in the past and I mean they're also rotating just for one day just to rotate the cars wash and, and, and wax some of them and you know and just dust it off basically that's that's a lot of uh, and there's a lot of people in the North Shore that are kind of, that are kind of well are wealthy that have multiple cars five six seven even eight or nine cars and if, if and a lot of them have kids and stuff like that so you can spend a whole day in one appointment just cleaning their cars, and so, and so that's why you know I won't, I don't worry about the, the competition because the, I, first of all I don't have any competition, and even if, if I was, a good majority of the people that that would start this business end up quitting. You know they quit after the first uh, first uh, two years, maybe a year or so, because it's it is a hard job it's not easy cleaning people's cars you know and and that's why I've stayed long enough and kept, kind of kept me healthy because you're always on moving you know you're sore by the end of the day but you're also made some money you know you can make you can make as much as you know what I charge $80 I mean to have you do it three times a year are you kidding in Chicago that's cheap you know you just need your equipment and you just need a water outlet and you know electrical outlet and you're you're good to go and you just need a reliable vehicle to go take you from place to place so you know in one day I detailed in the past I've detailed like eight or nine cars in one day you know at eighty dollars or a hundred dollars a shot that's that's some good money you know the most I ever made in one weekend was like fourteen hundred dollars you know but man I busted my butt to do that and I don't want to do that again because it is really hard but there are opportunities there, you know, for Filipinos and other ethnic groups and other people who want to work hard and start a business. And, you know, I came here in the from the Philippines back in the early 70s 
and basically, you know, my my dad came here looking for a job and established himself and his and, his, and my mom, and then uh, and then from there we, you know, we, we came over from the Philippines, and then we basically, um, uh, you know, my dad started as an engineer and worked his way up, and then he ended up, um, you know, moving to to Venezuela to to work over there. So, and then I came here, you know, got my college education and, you know, basically started detailing, you know, after my wife was pregnant with our firstborn. And I said, well, I, I'm losing my income. And I said, I need something to help, uh, uh, you, know, you know, to accommodate that loss of income. So I started detailing my detailing business. So. Basically, that's how it starts. It's out of necessity. But, I, I, you know, right now I told my son, you start it now, you'll become successful by the time you graduate college and you'll make a lot of money even after college. So, basically, that's pretty much about it. So, you just good luck with your enterprise. And I'm about right here right now with my appointment. So, I will talk to you guys later. Okay, Bye-bye. I'm here with my appointment um, in Northbrook. And basically... Um, I wanted to kind of show you, you know, I have three cars here, like I said, and um, what, you know, basically what I'm going to, I've known these people for so long now, and, you know, they're great people, and I'll be doing a, uh, I'll be doing this Lexus, the son's car, and then basically I'll be doing a Mercedes. Is the other car and then the other car is another Mercedes I'll be taking care of so I just wanted to show you that you know you meet these people you get to know them and you basically you know grow up with them and they start trusting you and knowing who you are and how hard you work to clean these cars but you know this beautiful neighborhood here you know, as you can see you know here in Northbrook so you know that's why that's why I do this business because you get to meet a lot of interesting people and what they do in their lives and their kids growing up. So that's the fun part about detailing. And so I'm just going to get started cleaning the car. So I'll talk to you guys later. You guys have a nice day and hey, enjoy. I finished up the three cars. Mercedes GL3, GLC 300 formatic. Turned out really nice. Uh, beautiful and shiny. Owner keeps it really, really in great condition. So, but you really have to do much. Just put a nice coat of wax on there. You can see, really, really sharp looking car. I got done with the, also the Lexus GS300, which you can see, nice shiny. It sits outside most of the time because there's only a two car garage. Um, but basically, you know, I needed to get done. And then, then the Mercedes was all cleaned up and shined up. So, but basically, that's the nutshell. Took about uh, four hours and 15 minutes. It wasn't really that bad, but four hours, 15, four hours, 30 minutes to get it all cleaned up. So, but this is what you can do in, you know, this business and enjoy meeting these people and known him for a long time and uh cars always kept maintained really well so signing off from northbrook talk to you later enjoy forgot to videotape me going to the, my second appointment that i did but i was in a hurry it was running a little late it was a jaguar f type uh road poop so that was my second appointment and then now i'm heading over to my third appointment which uh, is uh, two cars, and I'll end my day today, six cars, but um, normally during the summertime, I can handle After maybe seven or eight, but it's a lot harder when you're, when it's getting darker and you're losing light and it's getting a little bit colder. As you can see, I'm wearing my winter, my fall stuff that I wear, sweatshirt and, uh, pant and sweatpants, keep me warm during the fall time detailing here in Chicago so basically I'm heading over to my last appointment which is two cars and she warned me new client 
she warned me that her car is going to be really a mess where her husband's car is also pretty decent so we'll see how it goes uh, I'll try to videotape and then uh, show you how the cars look like okay talk to you guys later okay I'm here on my uh, third appointment today and I have to do this uh, Infiniti QX uh, 60 big old car you know I'm over here in uh, uh, Northbrook close to Glenview also so basically really nice neighborhood and stuff like that um, I'll, I'll have to be doing two cars here so um, we'll see how it goes because usually this takes me about uh, uh, two maybe two and a half hours to do and then hopefully the other car is not so bad as he said so we'll see how it goes see this is not necessarily all glamorous I showed you cars that are the Ferraris and Porsches and stuff that I detail and this is key, as bad as it can get so it's not necessarily a glamorous job but you know what you get you get your respect after basically after it gets done cleanly so just wanted to show you how bad it can get and I'll try to show you if I remember once it's all cleaned up this is the end result you remember how dirty it was earlier as you can see it is much cleaner now it's two and a half hours later but I just wanted to see you show you what what basically why people hire me because it's it's a lot of hard work and basically you know it's hard to do and maintain so just wanted to show you what it looks like That's what the car looks like when it's all detailed and clean. Super sharp, super shiny. Big car. Big car. What the interior looks like. All cleaned up. So, two hours to clean this car. Just want to see the light. Look at that shine. Look at that reflective shine. This is why I detail. And I'm starting to lose light, so now I gotta work on the other car. Talk to you guys later. Bye bye. Oh. Okay, I finally finished uh, the cars today. Had six cars I detailed. It's around 6:52. Dark. You're getting darker here in Chicago and you know Midwest because it's fall right now. It's October, and that's usually the case. Um, I try to fit in as many as I can, six at best, sometimes maybe seven if I can fit uh, these cars. My day start out eight o'clock in the morning and long, hard day, but you know, made some good money. So this is, uh, you know, as being unemployed just kind of bites, but it's just something that, uh, it's just something that you have to do is, uh, oops, sorry, my radar detector is, is off right now but it's just something that you have to do you know for your family and it's kind of fun meeting people new people that future clients later down the road and they're gonna obviously give you referrals so if you think about it if you get 20 clients uh, wanting your car detailed you eventually end up getting five extra new people because of referrals and then from there you, they get maybe two or three referrals from there and then more and more and so on you get to a point to where you know you. I ended up having um, uh, at one point uh, over 100, 150 clients, and that's not, that's just barely scratching the surface of this detailing business. So I just want to let you guys know and see how it is. You know that, how long it takes sometimes on a daily basis, what you have to handle. So just a shame I couldn't show you the, the last car because it was hard to see and hard to show. So. You guys, uh, take it easy. Enjoy. If you have any questions, just uh, email me or text me. Uh, email me uh, through the YouTube, and, and then I'll try to answer as best as I can. So, you guys have a good day now. Good night now. Bye bye.